friend, the Epicness42, right here. His channel link will be in the description. So, what I'm going to be telling you guys right now is how to get the GameCube stuff. Um, you can watch some other video on how to get the Dolphin emulator. I'm not going to tell you guys how to do that, but get the Dolphin emulator. Go to dolphin dolphinemulator.com and download it. Um, you're going to need a folder where you can put all the this stuff in. So I have a big ROMs folder with all my ROM stuff. And then I made a GameCube. And then I made a GameCube ISO folder. Put all my GameCube ISOs. So. Alright. So we're going to actually start to get into this. You're going to want to go to the purple cube. The link will be in the description. And you're going to want to make an account. You have to make an account in order to download anything. So just make an account, which I did. Right there. Go to GameCube Downloads. And find any game that you want that you already own. So I own um, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, but it broke, so I need another copy of it, so just download it on here. So I'm, I'm already downloading it. I already downloaded the first part. It took 11 minutes to download, so yeah. Um, so I was just checking my time. Alright, um, so far we're at two minutes, but, so you want to download each part, alright, just download each part, so, I downloaded the first part, and pretty much you just click it, and then it brings you to a mega upload link, and you need to download all parts before you start extracting them, okay, so I got this thing up right here, mega upload. I click, you click regular download, or if you have a premium membership for Mega Upload, just click premium. But I just do regular download. And then it'll pop up this. And you're going to want to save it to the folder where you want to put all the parts in. So I put it in here. So I just save it into there. And now it should lower the time. It's 250 megabytes, so it's not that much. I'm going to pause it while this downloads. So yeah, just one second, guys. Seven more minutes, guys. Okay, guys. Um, I just want to say a quick note. I got the hiccups, but um, you're gonna need a pretty fast computer for this. Not like super fast, but the games probably will lag a, a lot. Um, so yeah, just letting you guys know that. Um, and also. Since they're GameCube games and not cartridges and everything, um, they do take up a lot more space on your <clears throat> on your computer. Ugh, I hate the hiccups. But so yeah, like each one of these parts is 250 megabytes. <laughs> um, I, let me see if it. Oops, why did I do that? Okay, screw that. All right. Um, <clears throat> every part is 250 megabytes probably except for part 5 so that's 250, 500, 750, a gigabyte so you got a gigabyte right there so you must have quite a few gigabytes in the computer I have 250 so yeah but two more minutes guys so let me just go ahead and pause it again and we can wait okay guys seven more seconds Let's just watch it. One. Okay. After it does that, it'll bring up this little screen. And then it will transfer all the files over to, over to there. <clears throat> it took six minutes and 39 seconds. So roughly seven minutes it takes to download each part. And now next you're going to click open. A lap. And it'll pop up into here. Um, so. Yeah, so this is what it pops up as. In this current file there's one a lot of bytes. Yeah. So okay. And don't worry, none of them have viruses. Well they some might so you might want to use virus scan. But um they shouldn't. This is a pretty good website. So after you do that, don't extract anything, just click just exit out and download the next part. 
So let me see how much time we have left. Um, okay. So I'm going to finish downloading all these parts, and then I'll show you how to put them all together. So just wait about a millisecond. Okay, guys, just one more addition to tell you. You might want a controller to play the to play the GameCube games because your keyboard ain't going to do much for you. I mean, you can use your keyboard. Like, I have a PlayStation 1 emulator on here, and I play the Grinch, and... It works, but I would much rather have a controller. So technically, I'm stopping my um, banjo banjo Tui playthrough until I get a controller. It shouldn't be that long. I mean, maybe a month, month or two, and I should have one. So yeah, I might just put, throw in a part or two every once in a while just because I get bored or something. But yes. Okay, let me just. Oh wait, and one more thing I gotta add. Let's check the time. Okay. Yeah, one more thing I wanna add, guys, is um oh, what was I gonna say? Let me let me pause it till I forget what I wanted to say. Okay guys, I remember what I was gonna say. Alright, um you're gonna um I'm not gonna be uploading any more like glitch videos or anything that I have to use my camera to take. Cause um my camera is totally full of pictures and stuff, so I only can get like a minute of video. So yeah, so that's another thing. I'm gonna have to wait till my um, my parents like delete all the stuff off the camera and just put them onto a CD or something, and put them onto a bunch of CDs or something. So yeah, all right, that's all I wanted to say. You guys will see me again in exactly one millisecond. Part four is downloading, guys. Wow, this fourth part is taking forever. It's been probably twice as long as it said. It's like 20 minutes. It's really starting to annoy me. But all right, I will tell you. I already got three parts done. Yay! Okay, I'll I'll come back in exactly one millisecond. Part four is taking way too long, guys. Way too long. I might just cancel that. But so I guess I'll see you guys in another millisecond. Okay, I'm downloading the last part now. So in just about a millisecond, you guys should have um, a nice tutorial on how to do all this stuff. One thing guys, this download's going much quicker. It's only been about a minute. And it's already on six minutes. So yay. But this one is shorter. 185 megabytes, so I was right. Okay guys, um so here we go. Oh wait, let me start with the number one. When you do this you're gonna want to start with number one. Alright? And then yeah whatever. Click this and click extract two the um, ISO folder and then it should start and it'll start with part one as you can see right here you probably can't actually see it but it says part one and it will run through it all and then it'll pop up part two and then part three part four and part five all the way till it's done and then it should bring up an image file see now it's on part two and I will come back to you when we're on part five guys so give me one second okay guys it's on part five now so it is downloading. And it's about to be done. Boom, it's done. Okay, and then it'll pop up into this big ISO file with all of the mount in it. And yeah. So next you're gonna um just go since I only have like a little bit of time left, you're gonna go into your ROMs. Go into dol oh wrong thing cancel. Go into your dolphin emulator. I only have like 30 seconds left to do this. Um, click open and go and find the um, the game that you want to play. Click open 
and now it will start the game. So there you go, guys. It is starting. Yeah, let's just select that. It is definitely laggy. Um, that's because I have a bunch of stuff open. So there you guys go. That is all you need to do. And the game will now start and play. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.